All right. So we're here today with our University of Illinois practicum interns who have been wonderful this summer and just thought we would have a time when we can chat about how the summer's been and what's been good, what's been bad, what's been challenging, um, considering that this is a very unique summer um, with uh, both uh, the quarantine and the pandemic and everything that that's meant, um, but also specifically Aleo, our organization, Illinois Legal Aid Online, has been uh, going through a major website rebuild, a major project, which is uh, very uh, unique and challenging. So we're here with Petra, Paige, and Becky, who are our three practicum interns, as well as Matt Newstead, uh, who is uh, at Aleo with uh, me, and I'm Andrew Sharp. Um, and uh, we'll just dive right in. So have a couple questions for you guys, um, just to uh, hear your thoughts on the internship. So the first one is, what was the most surprising thing that you learned this summer? So we're dealing with all sorts of areas of the law, probably areas of the law that you have not been exposed to uh, in, in law school yet. And so oftentimes we hear interns say, I never knew that or uh, never knew that specific part of that. So uh, yeah, what was, what was sort of surprising? Um, let's start with uh, Petra. Yeah, I think for me more generally, knowing all the work that goes into a legal website was surprising. Um, getting to know what the back end of a website is and what the CMS is. And then, you know, seeing all the different versions of a draft before it actually gets published, uh, thinking about how blogs are gonna be used by users. So kind of reconceptualizing a website thinking, okay, what's the reading level gonna be? Who's gonna be accessing this? What's our audience? Um, just all of the thought that goes into a single piece of content was surprising for me. Great, yeah. Um, that's definitely something, yeah, unique to, to our organization. You're not gonna be doing much of that uh, at a uh, standard legal aid where you're just dealing with clients. You know, we're dealing with the website and uh, all sorts of technical things and you guys have been doing uh, great, uh, learning all that stuff and adapting to it um, and excelling at it. Um, all right, Paige. Um, I think something that surprised me a lot is just, so with the practicum part or the um, course part of it at the beginning, we went over six or seven different areas of the law where coronavirus is really impacting them. And I think through the work I've been doing at Aleo, it's shown me that basically every single legal field is being impacted, especially like areas we didn't go over in the class were housing. That's a huge part being affected and immigration and family law. There's just so many areas. So I think just some might seem more straightforward that are being impacted, but really almost all of them by the end of this, hopefully there isn't an end. Um, they're all gonna be impacted in some way or another. So, oh, yeah. When we were getting ready for you guys to come, you know, we said, oh, well, they're supposed to only work on, you know, legal issues related to COVID, you know, are there enough of those? And then we started putting the list together. We're like, oh, that's like everything. <laughs> like everything has been impacted. So there's, there's no shortage of, uh, of differences or, or issues. And Paige, you specifically, I know have been, uh, you know, we've all had our own little, areas of the law that we've kind of been focusing on. So Petra's been doing housing, um, and I think Becky, you're doing money and debt. Um, and Paige, you got the general blog, which is sort of everything else. So you kind of got to see the extent of, you know, all the different issues that, that are affected. So, um, so that's great. All right, how about you, Becky? What was the most surprising for you? Um, I think the most surprising for me was just the fact that the audience of Aleo's website is like extends to attorneys and other legal aid advocates. Like I think the extent that uh, they use the website wasn't, I didn't know that before. I figured the website was mostly just for like posting litigants or people who are just answering their own legal questions. Um, but seeing how much like, you know, there's the training information on the website for attorneys and then articles that are just written specifically like to attorneys as the audience. Um, it kind of just emphasized for me like how difficult how difficult it is to understand a lot of areas of the law. Like it's difficult enough just for attorneys that they're using this information, um, you know, and then so beyond that for just like regular non-law people to understand, it makes sense that 
that a lot of it is really hard to understand. Absolutely. We get that feedback all the time from attorneys that, you know, every, almost every time I meet an attorney at, at a function or something like that, you know, I tell them I work at Illinois Legal Aid. Oh, I, web, I use your website all the time. <laughs> and it's not even, you know, specifically the, the attorney resources a lot of times, you know, it's, it's the stuff that is written for pro se's, but you know, they, they're, something comes across their desk that's new or novel or outside of their practice area. And they, they need that plain language one on one oh one kind of level of explanation. So they, they turn to us. So that's great. All right. Uh, I'll turn it over to you, Matt. Thanks. Um, I was wondering if you could each tell me a little bit about um, what you found challenging uh, this summer. Um, Becky, can we start with you? So I thought the most challenging part for me was just not being able to um, be there in person and interact in person because there's just that extra piece that you kind of miss um, from not being able to just like walk down the hallway and talk to somebody or go, you know, watch another event. Um, so it was really nice that everything um, that was already set up made it easy to work online and remotely, but I do wish that, you know, we could have been in person. Me too. Maybe someday we'll get to see each other face to face. Uh, Petra, what about you? What did you find challenging this summer? Yeah, similar to Becky, I think getting used to all the different online tools that we're using at Aleo. So Jira, Slack, you know, learning how to use Google Docs in, in a way that is going to be most helpful for creating the content that we need. I think a positive of that is, you know, just being more literate with different online tools. And certainly I've heard from people who work at firms and other organizations that they use Slack or Jira all the time. So I think ultimately it's it's good for, for each of us to learn how to use that more proficiently. Um, but certainly there was a, a learning curve at the beginning. That's good. Well, as Andrew said before, um, all of you picked up on all the, the many tools that we use. So hopefully it was both a challenge and something that, as you said, had a positive outcome at the end. Um, Paige, how about you? What did you find challenging? Um, I agree with Becky and Petra too, but another thing I found challenging was probably just staying up to date on all the changes, especially at the beginning, it seemed like everybody was trying to navigate their way through this, like with the governor putting out orders and those were expiring. And then if he was going to do a new one and just kind of staying up to date on all of those, because there are so many. Yeah, yeah we certainly, uh, the environment was not easy for us to uh, stay on top of. Um, and yeah, we normally have a little bit slower pace where we get to plan out the content um, and then we can maybe Maybe there's a rush when there are a bunch of new laws that go into effect, but this new world where we're trying to keep up with things day to day, that's uh, I felt more like a newsroom than a legal information website. So uh, that certainly was a challenge, but I think over the summer we developed different systems to uh, make it work. And you all were a huge part of that, uh, the success of that, so thank you. All right, so last question is, what did you enjoy most and least about this summer and the internship? Uh, so let's start with Paige. Um, what I enjoyed most is probably just, it sounds cheesy, but giving back and contributing during this super difficult time that everybody's in. And I just remember at the beginning, or right when the spring semester ended, I was pretty much watching Netflix and relaxing after exams. and People are struggling out there and I felt kind of guilty just lounging. So actually started when I saw this opportunity, I was super excited about it and it feels really good to make a difference. And even just Matt, I know you helped me a lot with it. I just created some content on remote hearings and that's the way courts are carrying out hearings lately or a lot of them are. And just knowing that if one person is nervous to like download the app and then meet with a judge via their computer or phone, like, if they can go to my piece of content I created and feel more secure and confident going into it, then I really feel like I've made enough difference during this short opportunity I've had. Um, that's my dog trying to get in the room. That's <laughs> perk of working from home. Um, 
the least favorite part, I guess, is like Becky and Petra said, was um, just not being able to meet you people in person and have those in-person interactions. But um, I feel like you guys do a great job with, we have at least three meetings throughout the week where I get to talk and communicate with people. So I feel like Aleo does a great job of, um, as difficult as it is to work from home, I feel like I have a community around me. So it's nice. That's great. Yeah, that's, that's good to hear. I, I think in an odd way, sometimes over this summer, there have been more opportunities to connect for, for our interns. Um, because, you know, maybe in an office, you're not thinking of that as a need or, you know, we're, we're not tr trying to be as intentional about it. Like, you know, normal, normally we'll do like a lunch at the beginning and then we'll do like a couple happy hours and, you know, some field trips or something like that. But um, they're just sort of all staff and, you, you know, you might go and only talk to the other interns, you know, and not talk to other staff. But this summer, yeah, we've done like coffees and happy hours and all this sort of stuff. And it's, I've, I've gotten feedback from other people on staff that they, they almost feel more connected this year to, to you all as interns than, than they have in the past, um, which is great. And I think it also happen, helps that when we're on video chats, our, all of our names are right below <laughs> our faces. So it's just sort of like that constant, like help, you know, learning names is like the, the first thing of, of, you know, building a community in the office. And so, you know, ha having that has been, has been great. So that's great to hear that it's uh, a shared sentiment. Um, all right, Becky, how about you? Favorite, least favorite? Uh, I think my, my favorite part would be just getting the chance to um, like be in charge of one of the COVID specific blogs and handle, you know, all the updates for it. So like you said, like I'm in charge of the money and debt blog, um, which, you know, I didn't really know anything about what was going on in that area before I started. And so it took me a while to figure out everything that was going on. Um, but then like, I like the kind of responsibility of like staying up to date on everything and checking for new updates. Um, and I think it has helped me going forward with like, I know there's a lot of areas where, you know, you need to stay on top of new legislation. Um, and so coming up with like a system to keep track of that has been really helpful. Um, and I guess my least favorite part, um, I don't, I mean, besides, besides just like the being remote and being in a different time zone, um, <laughs> there's not really anything else. Yeah, there's been some early mornings for you, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so not, I, I guess that would be my least favorite. So yeah, Becky is in the Pacific time zone, so we are yes. in Central, so, so. In, Two hours. Yeah, 9 a.m. meeting for us is a, is a 7 a.m. one for her, so. Yeah. It's very accommodating, but. Um, all right, uh, Petra, how about you? Yeah, I think I, fa I have two favorites. So the first one is the sense of urgency attached to keeping a COVID housing blog updated. I think because it's, there's the sense of urgency and the idea that people are actually using it, it, it makes the work feel meaningful and important. And um, I've also learned so much. You know, I, I started the summer not exactly sure what area of law I, I want to pursue once I graduate, and that could still change, but I really enjoyed the opportunity uh, of the task you gave me, Andrew, to work on different education and school related um, areas. And so learning lots of different things, having tasks that, you know, you want someone to understand, you know, so getting away from like legalese writing was enjoyable for me. And then least favorite thing is, is the same as Paige and Becky said, you know, just maybe the lack of in-person, but um, also felt like there was still a nice sense of community established at Aleo, so. Great, yeah, that, that's definitely one of my favorite uh, things about the internship and, and about our work is that uh, if there's an area of the law that you're, you're interested in and, and want to sort, sort of try out or, or investigate and um, do a little bit of a concentration on, you know, we've got plenty of work in, in all areas. So yeah, it was so great to, uh, when you said, hey, you know, I'm thinking about education, do you have any tasks? And I looked and sure enough, there's a lot going on in education law right now um, with new laws and, you know, stuff that, uh, 
we had collected, you know, over the, the past year. And, and so it's been really cool to sort of be able to uh, really accommodate that request. And, um, and yeah, you've, you've sort of built up a little bit of a subject matter expertise on, on education law, which has been really cool. So, um, so great. All right. Well, thank you all for uh, your time today and your time over this whole summer. You know, we, we've told you before, but just say it again, how amazing your work has been. Um, you know, going into the summer, we had no idea what it was going to be like. Everything was changing. The migration was happening. Even just from day to day, we didn't know what, what a day was going to look like. And you guys have just rolled with the punches and um, adapted and done just really, really amazing, impactful, meaningful work for, uh, for us, but more importantly for um, the people we serve. Uh, so thank you so much and have a great day.